Oh, we're here today in uh, kind of an abandoned place, but I wanted to show Greenbrier. Greenbrier tips are good to eat. You can add them to salads or just use uh, as a trail side nibble. But Greenbrier tends to grow, I'd say, in places that are disturbed. And you've probably seen this before. Maybe you've even gotten yourself stuck in a bunch of it. So you can see there's pretty substantial thorns. And it is, in fact, green. And when the uh, when the vine dries, you can use it as a really good fire starter. So what is what does the greenbrier tip look like? Well, here's one right here. You can see. And when they first come out, they're kind of shiny. And when they get a little older, then um, they're still okay. Gumby, you said that they're a little tougher to eat. Yeah, but I don't eat can, the older ones. You can eat them. Um, I was actually introduced to them on a trail and the the instructor the leader of the group said like if it comes off easy then you can eat it so this one i'd say is probably my size that i would like to try so Ooh, can you show how bendy it is compared to the tough vine that might not show up on the video that well yeah really bendy yeah and oh sometimes this one doesn't but sometimes they have ants in them so i just kind of shake the ants off but the ants know what's good so may I please have you for this demonstration? And you don't have to take it right from the vine right there. You can just kind of maybe up a little bit. So just take the tip and it came off pretty easily. Can I see it? Yeah. Can I see the tip? Yeah. So yeah. We can add these to our salad, or like I said, have a little trail side nibble, and I'll taste this one. And this one's a little bit on the sour side, which is interesting. I've had some before that kind of tastes like broccoli or something, <laughs> which is still interesting. It's still good. Yeah, and like the flavor keeps changing in your mouth, so it's really an interesting uh, flavor profile. And... Um, the, the leader of that group I was talking about when I was first introduced, uh, he said that it was good for like male energy. What is that? Um, yang energy, Gumby? Uh, yeah, I would say that, but that's what I've heard too from a different teacher. Mm -hmm. And we have a nice little nest here too. Currently empty. But yeah, thank you, Greenbrier. And it's also known as Catbrier, I've heard. Yeah, I've heard it. Catbriar and other people just uh, call it by the uh, genus name Smilax. Oh yeah, Smilax. Um, and I've heard of people cooking it. I think I've done it once. I can't even remember if I really have done it or if I just think I've done it. But cooked in butter, like a little asparagus. Mm, yeah. Which is pretty decent, but I think they taste so good. We just like, like Teresa was saying, just kind of pick them off and put them in salads. And even the young leaves, if you don't get the whole shoot, if you've got a shiny young leaf, um, they're good. You know, later in the year, you can still eat the young leaves as they come out a little bit later when the shoots are getting tough. But the shoots um, that Teresa like just picked actually keep coming out for quite a while. Mm -hmm. So that's going to be a, a good food source for a while yet. And you were mentioning fire starters. I've also experimented with like um, plucking the thorns off and drying them out for baskets and have had a uh, yeah. I wouldn't say they're my favorite. They they do break, but if you can get it just right, soak it and everything. If you know about uh, wild baskets, they kind of get this like sterling silver look, which is pretty awesome. So they can make a pretty unique, tough basket. Anything else, Teresa? Um, I guess just in parting, thank you, Greenbrier, and just know that it it might have hurt you at some point, but it's actually just doing its thing and it's giving a gift. Yeah, and it's called a, uh, some people call it a warrior plant. Yeah. So it tends to grow on the edge of the woods to kind of protect the woods um, from maybe intruders who uh, possibly shouldn't be there. <laughs> so thank you, Greenbrier. Thank you, Greenbrier.